Ricky Nelson, a name that echoes in the sparkling halls of Hollywood and American pop culture. In the 1950s, Ricky was the epitome of the American dream, his charisma and talent making him a household name. But this story isn't about Ricky, it's about his daughter Tracy Nelson, who grew up not only under his star-studded legacy, but also under the shadow of the complexities that come with fame. At 59, Tracy has stepped back into the limelight, casting away her silence to share her extraordinary journey. In this video, we'll delve deeper into Tracy's life. Join Factsverse as we present Ricky Nelson's daughter is all grown up, she's 59 years old today. Tracy's troubled childhood led to an impressive career. In the heart of Hollywood, the golden age gave rise to many stars, but few shined as brightly as Ricky Nelson. With his soaring music career and acclaimed role in The Adventures of Ozzy and Harriet, he was indeed the face of the American dream. But behind that glamorous facade, his life was as layered and complex as a Hollywood script. Christmas 1961 marked the beginning of a crucial chapter in Ricky's life. He started dating Chris Harmon, daughter of football player Tom Harmon, and actress Elise Knox. The Nelsons and the Harmons were old friends, and a union between their children held a charm that was hard to resist. Ricky and Chris shared much in common, from their quiet dispositions to their Hollywood upbringings and high-powered, domineering fathers. The couple married April 20, 1963, a union that Ricky later described as a shotgun wedding. As part of their marriage agreement, Ricky, a non-practicing Protestant, took instruction in Catholicism at the insistence of Chris's parents. Furthermore, he agreed to raise any children from their union in the Catholic faith. The couple had four children, the eldest of whom was Tracy Christine Nelson. Born in Santa Monica, October 25, 1963, Tracy was the scion of performers that went back four generations. Her great-grandparents were vaudeville performers, and her grandparents starred in the ABC sitcom The Adventures of Ozzie and Harriet. This lineage of entertainers set the stage for her own foray into the industry. Her childhood was shaped significantly by the volatile dynamics of her parents' marriage. By 1975, the union had begun to crumble, spiraling into a very public and contentious divorce that saw Chris filing for alimony, custody of their four children, and a portion of the community property. Years of legal wrangling followed their eventual divorce in 1982. Amidst the upheaval, Tracy began her career in the entertainment industry, landing her first role at just three months old on her grandparents' TV show. She continued to appear in various roles throughout her childhood, most notably playing one of Henry Fonda and Lucille Ball's daughters in Yours, Mine, and Ours at the tender age of four. Graduating from the Westlake School for Girls in 1981, Tracy had not only inherited the performance genes from her star-studded lineage, but also had nurtured them with dedication. She attended Bard College in upstate New York, studying dance and European history, and studied ballet intensively for 17 years. She carved her niche in Hollywood not just as the daughter of a legendary musician and actor, but also as a versatile artist in her own right. She made a significant mark in television, co-starring in the Father Dowling Mysteries and being a regular on A League of Their Own and The Man from Snowy River. She also guest starred in numerous popular television series of the 80s and 90s, including Family Ties, Murphy Brown, The Nanny, Melrose Place, and Seinfeld. In the realm of theater, she shined as Rizzo in Greece during its 1995 Broadway run. Her contributions on the big screen were equally impressive, with roles and releases and over 20 television movies, including The Perfect Nanny and The Rival. She also turned to writing, penning a book about her personal experiences and a movie script about her family, the Nelsons. Thus, Tracy Nelson emerging from the tumultuous vortex of her childhood and her parents' high-profile divorce crafted a successful and distinguished career in entertainment, proving she was more than just the daughter of Ricky Nelson. She was and remains a talented and enduring artist in her own right. She's also rather remarkable for being a triumphant symbol of survival, as she survived cancer not once but three times. Losing her father and her cancer battles In 1985, when Tracy was just 21, her life was upended by the tragic loss of her father, Ricky, in a plane crash. The shock and grief were compounded by circulating rumors regarding the cause of the crash, which were later discredited by the FAA. It was eventually confirmed that a faulty heating system on the plane was to blame. 
This period of trauma and uncertainty led Tracy to battle with her own health and well-being, believing her father's death to be the root cause of her illness. Ricky's death also sparked a family dispute over the custody of Tracy's youngest brother, Sam, 13 at the time. With concerns over their mother's emotional stability, Tracy, her siblings, and her uncle Mark Harmon, renowned for his prominent role on NCIS, were drawn into another bitter custody battle. The case was eventually won by Tracy's mother, Chris, despite initial resistance from Mark. This event created a strain in the family, particularly between Tracy and Mark. Thankfully, they managed to mend their relationship over time. As Tracy grappled with her father's untimely death and the family feud, she began to feel unwell. Even on her wedding day in 1987, to actor William Moses, Tracy suspected something was not right. Her symptoms escalated during her time working on the show Father Dowling Mysteries, including extreme fatigue and unexplained swelling. As she later revealed in interviews, a strange dream where her father encouraged her to see a doctor led Tracy to seek medical help. Her instincts proved correct when she was diagnosed with cancer that was attacking her lymph nodes and spleen. The news was devastating, prompting Tracy and her husband to reflect on their respective family histories with cancer. But she pressed on, supported by her family during a grueling seven-hour surgery which involved the removal of her spleen, a portion of her liver, and samples of her lymph nodes. The cancer was fortunately caught early, but the treatment took a significant toll on her health. She underwent four months of chemotherapy and 25 rounds of radiation, which brought her weight down to 87 pounds and caused her to lose her hair. She considered taking her life during this arduous journey, but found a burst of energy that inspired her to keep fighting. In 1987, her cancer went into remission, and she and Moses began trying for a baby, despite the advice of some doctors. After two and a half years of trying, they welcomed a healthy daughter, Remington Elizabeth. The joy of pregnancy and motherhood was a much-needed relief, but her journey was far from over. She and Moses divorced in 1997, sharing custody of Remington. Tracy later welcomed a second child, Elijah Nelson Clark, with her boyfriend Chris Clark in 2001. Tracy, a three-time cancer survivor, continues to inspire many with her resilience and determination. Her most recent battle was with breast cancer, which she conquered with the same tenacity. Now at 59, She's embracing her natural look, proudly sporting her gray hair. She remains an embodiment of strength and perseverance, despite enduring a plethora of trials during her life, from her father's tragic death to her own health struggles, she's emerged victorious. Today she continues to thrive and inspire others with her story, proving that life's toughest challenges can indeed forge the most resilient spirits. Now it's time to hear from you. Did you know Tracy Nelson has survived cancer three times? And her uncle is Mark Harmon of NCIS fame? Let us know in the comments section below.